Are you having a little trouble trying to figure out the specifics behind barrel twist rate? Well, we're going to try to explain that today, so let's take it to the board. Welcome back to the channel crew, and today we're going to try to explain in fairly basic terms barrel twist rate. Now the uh, purpose of the uh, barrel twist rate is going to be to stabilize the projectile. And if you're not familiar with that term, the projectile is the bullet. And it achieves this stabilization by spinning the projectile down the barrel. Now hopefully you're familiar with the concept of a rifled barrel. And if we were looking down a rifled barrel, you would notice that there would be like a, a spiral pattern to those lands and grooves. That's what's going to create the spin. Now if you're looking at buying a rifle, you're probably going to see the barrel twist uh, specs on there. And it's going to be written out uh, something like a 1 colon, maybe 8, uh, or potentially it'll actually say one in let's say nine now this first number this one has to do with the revolutions if you remember when we drawed our barrel looking down the end that revolution would be one revolution right spins that projectile completely around one time. Now the second number here is the distance and that is in inches. So if we've got a one and eight twist that means we're gonna have one revolution per eight inches of barrel. To illustrate what we're talking about we've got our barrel here we've got our projectile let's just say this is a 16 inch barrel and let's say we're dealing with a one and eight twist again one revolution per eight inches of barrel so if this is a 16 inch barrel then what's going to happen is this projectile is going to uh, make two complete revolutions by the time it exits now where a lot of people uh, get hung up is when they start talking about faster or slower twist rates. And that's actually a fairly simple concept to grasp. A 1 in 8 twist is going to be faster than a 1 in 9 twist. And the reason for that is really simple. It's right there in the numbers. You're completing one revolution in just eight inches of barrel where that same revolution here takes you nine inches of barrel. Now you may ask why are there varying twist rates? Well that's because the weight of the projectile uh, is going to help determine what twist better stabilizes that projectile. Typically speaking, the lighter the projectile, the slower the twist you can get by with. So with a 55 grain, you can likely stabilize that with a uh, 1 in 9 twist. Whereas if you're bumping up to a 90 grain projectile, then uh, it could require a 1 in 7 twist. Now when you're dealing with barrel twist rate, the caliber also comes into play. And that caliber is basically the diameter of your projectile. So when you're dealing with something like, let's say, a 223 caliber, you see a lot of, uh, you know, 1 in 8, 1 in 9 twist. Whereas with a 308 caliber, a 1 in 10 twist is really common. So to recap the basics of barrel twist rate, uh, remember that if you're dealing with, let's say, 
a 1 and 8. The 1 is revolutions. The 8 is how much barrel in inches it takes to achieve said revolution. I want to thank you for watching today, and as always, remember to chain fire freedom.